All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you would find something like the last Sunday in a month or the second Monday in a month. This came up in a project I had where they needed something uh, collected the last Sunday of every month. And I'd never had to do that before. So, But after a little research, Python comes with a calendar library, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't know they had this in there. But let's look at month calendar. So you import calendar. We then grab month calendar. You give it the year and the month. So I'm doing September of 2022. And what do you get? So when I print out month, you get this matrix right here with each row representing a week that has at least one day in it from that month. And the values that are not in the month get zero. And then you've got like, you know, one, two, three, four. So it looks like a calendar you would see on a wall. Now, they have constants that tell you the positions of the days. So calendar dot all cap Sunday or all cap Monday tells you where in that array Sunday or Monday is. That can change based on the locale. Now, let's find the last Sunday, which was what me, got me started on this. So here, it's the max of either the last one, the negative one uh, row here, which would be this row right here. Now, I happen to know that Sunday is the last day of the week in this particular calendar. So there is no Sunday. So it's going to be a zero. And then the same on the second, the second to last row. So in this case, it's the 25th because that's the first Sunday that has a value in the last two rows. And one of them, or both of them, have to have a Sunday. So let's find the second Monday. Now, this takes a little more code because you have to see if the first row's Monday is zero or not. Because if it's not, then it's the, uh, sec it's the first offset, which would be the second row. If it is equal to zero, then it's the third row. And then that's the 12th. So if we go back and look at our calendar, sure enough, the first Monday's missing. It's a zero. Therefore, the second Monday is going to be on the third row here, and it's going to be day number 12. So that's it. Hope you learned something. Smash that like button so I can help more people. Subscribe if you hadn't, and I'll see you in the next video.